everyone, hope you're all well. So I've put a red lip on, I've got my red Christmassy jumper on, this jumper I've had for a good few years, because um, I know I'll get questions about it. But um, yeah, as my title, I am gonna be doing the kids stocking fillers. If you can hear that noise, it's my crackling candle. Just realized it's kind of a little bit annoying. Um, yeah, so the kids Christmas stocking fillers. This is a much requested video every single year and I will leave previous years in the description bar so you can have a look back. I have got an 11 year old boy and a nine year old girl. I will be doing Miles's separately. Um, he is nearly 15 months old. So I thought it would just be just better to put the older kids together and then do a baby stocking. So definitely check out that video, it will be after this one. So like I said, I've got an 11 year old boy, so I'm gonna show you Alistair's first. I have found it really hard this year just trying to come up with some ideas that weren't just really boring and basic. I mean, the kids love the stockings. They love the, the bits inside. They love unwrapping them. There's just something really quite fun about unwrapping the stockings because there's just so much in them. And um, yeah, we always do it on the end of our bed. And it's just one of those traditions that we just really enjoy. So anyway, the kids have these stockings. These are like big knitted ones from the White Company. I got them many, many years ago and I wish I could get Miles one, but I honestly cannot find them anywhere. As you can see, they're pretty big. They're very lucky kids to have such a filled stocking each year. And I have stuffed them quite a lot this year. The kids, oh my God, they are lucky, very lucky children. So yeah, this is Violet's. Hers looks a lot bigger. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I'm going to go through Alistair's and show you what I've got. So the first thing I'm going to pull out, his socks are massive now, honestly. His feet are just as big as mine, actually bigger than mine. Got him a pack of socks, staple, standard in the stocking. Um, I picked up these ones from Sainsbury's, they were £6.50. And they just have this kind of designs on the bottom he doesn't like anything too funky colored and i thought because it's at the bottom it's just a little bit of something and then it's just gray at the top so this was pack seven useful you know standard stocking filler this item is a uh, merry christmas grow me so this is actually a grow me christmas tree i found this randomly online when i ordered a christmas jumper bizarrely there was just other things on that store so um yeah I think I got it for like £1.50 and I just thought it would be useful. He's really into growing things at the moment and um, yeah, grow your own Christmas tree. And funnily enough, we have a massive Christmas tree um, outside our house, which was the Christmas tree that Graham had as a child and it is massive. It's bigger than our house and it's actually a really nice story, you know, to say that they had it in the house for like years since he was a little boy and it was potted obviously and they used to bring it in every single year and now it's out there and it's just, you know it's just a nice little feature i think so we could potentially do that with this one if it grows big enough i mean it's going to take a really long time to get really big to bring inside the house but yeah i just thought it would be really nice a little bit different um i picked up this speed puzzle cube basically it looks like a rubik's cube um i got this from the entertainer back in the summer i ordered just a load of random little bits that were on in the summer sale so this was one of them um he has got a bamboo toothbrush this one is the wisdom renew clean can't go wrong with the toothbrush so i've got him one of those i got him this Fortnite figurine he has a few different ones of these but he doesn't have this one um I picked it up from HomeSense for $3.99. These are in in Smith's for, for about eight to 10 pounds. It does say 12 pounds on here, down to three pounds. So um, yeah, definitely check your HomeSenses because they have just random like bits of toys that are always like really good value. This is the Battle Hound and I think he's gonna like that. He like has a um, kind of shelf full of loads of different figurines and stuff like collectible, collectible ones. Um, I also put in some face wash. So he's obviously 11. He is really starting to kind of get spots and basically take after my horrible gene of spots. 
and he's obviously going through hormonally change um, so I think this sort of stuff is going to be great for him so I got him the tea tree witch hazel hydrating gel cleanser from boots and then also the blemish stick as well I think they were doing three for two and then I also got him some face wipes just for those evenings, mornings when he's just feeling super lazy and a lot of the time on the weekend. Um, these are the biogradable wipes by Simple. He's got to have some chocolate in here. He's got a little chocolate bear which is from Aldi. And then also this LED bicycle light. So it's got the front and the back light. This was £2.49 from Home Bargain so it'd be really useful. He rides his bike a lot. Um, I also got him a tech deck, which is just a finger skateboard. My friend actually recommended these and I picked it up from a little shop in Wimborne, but they do do them online and you can actually get the ramps and everything to go with them. I just think he'd like something like that. I also got him some of these Bure nose strips. We have been through a pack of these together um, the last couple of months and he really likes them. Um, they're really effective for blackheads and stuff like that. So um, yeah, these are ones that I actually get from eBay. It's a pack of 10 for about $3.99. And then I also picked him up this shocking pen, which is £2.50 from B&M. Also from B&M, I picked up this magnetic sculpture for £2. And then, what else have I got in here? I've got this octopus ball. I picked this up from the range, I think it was 50p. The octopus inside lights up. I thought he'd like that, I actually think Miles would like that as well. And then the last item, I think, oh the last two items, I've got him a power bank for his mobile phone. This was £5 from b and I think this is going to be so useful um, and something he doesn't have and you know a great stock, stocking stuffer and then i also got him a new phone cover as well this is kind of like a shock proof it's got one of the um kind of pop sock things but it's like a little stand I just saw it and i just thought it would be a good one to put in the stocking and it's useful he needs a new phone cover as well and lastly some chocolate coins so that is everything i've got alistair for his stocking I actually think I did okay. In the beginning I was really struggling and I didn't want to get him all practical stuff because it's just a bit boring, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I think there's a good mixture of things there. So moving on to Violet. A couple of these things you're gonna be like, oh, what does she need that for? Well, I do have a video coming up of what I've actually got the children and a photo album is gonna be really useful for something that Violet is getting for Christmas. So this is kind of like a mini Polaroid one. I got this from eBay, it was a few pounds, but I just thought it looked really, really cool and it's like this mini size. So I think she's gonna appreciate that. I'm not sure how many photos it holds because they're only tiny little ones anyway, but I think it holds like 40 or 60, something like that. But um, yeah, she's got that. She also has a headband. Again, I got this from eBay for like a couple of pounds. I think she's gonna love that for when she just, I don't know, when we wear like face masks and she, you know, pretends to put makeup on sometimes. Um, I think, yeah, it's just a cute little stocking filler, isn't it? I think she's gonna like that. Um, I also got her a wisdom toothbrush. This is a pink one, it's a bamboo one. Um, so back in the summer, I managed to get my hands on a few lull dolls, but not dolls. These are the pet ones from Argos. They were reducing them down to £3.50. Um, I picked up two. So this is one of them. It's the uh, LOL Surprise Fluffy Pets. So yeah, you, originally these are 11 99 usually. So I feel like I got a bit of a bargain there because these are so expensive. But she does love her lull pets and dolls. So I got her that one. She has also got a Poopsie Slime Surprise. I picked this up from HomeSense. Originally this is supposed to be £9 apparently, but it was down to £3.99. Um, it's just one of those slime surprise thingies. She loves this sort of unbagging surprise things. She's still very much into those. She's also got a Chocolate Reindeer from Aldi. She has a little pen which um, I got from the Paper Chase for, it was £1.75, but I think they were doing actually 20% off their sales stuff. Um, 
she loves taking this sort of stuff to school she's very much like me i used to have like so many different pencil cases and pens and she's really into it alistair's like polar opposite he keep a pen in his pocket and he's good to go but um yeah i just think she's gonna love that um i also got her one of these little live pets um this was down to three pounds i believe again i picked this up from the entertainer back in the summer um there's loads of different ones I'm not really sure what they do. I'm guessing it just whizzes around. But yeah, I thought she would like that. Um, I also got her one of the sequin uh, Beanie Boos. This, these are the mini ones that are 2 dollars She is kind of collecting these. She has a few different ones. This sequin one is one that she doesn't have and I think she's gonna love it. This one is called Lilac. I also got her a pack of socks. I got these ones. These are like Christmassy unicorn ones from Tiger. I think these were a pound. She's actually okay for socks. I didn't go crazy with too much of that. Um, she's also got another one of these Candy Locks pets. Another one of these like unwrap things. Again, I got that from the entertainer a long time ago. Um, I got her, again from the entertainer, a mini aqua beads. She loves aqua beads actually, it's a really fun activity. And this one has, it's a sparkle pack, it has like a few different ones that you can make. Um, yeah, so she's got that. She still likes doing things, you know. She's also got a pack of chocolate coins. I picked her up some of these face masks from Home Bargains a long time ago. I actually haven't seen them in there since, which is a shame really, but I think they were 69p each. This one's a reindeer one and the polar bear. You can see their sheet masks. She loves those. Um, I got her this also from Home Bargains, a little face mask. She also loves a face mask. Um, and then I also got her this little headband, glittery one. I think this was £1 or 79p. Um, again, from Home Bargains. It's just really pretty. She's very much into headbands. Okay, last few bits. I got her this little sausage dog pen, which was £2 from B&M. So she's got two pens. Didn't realise that. She's got two pens. She's got this little hand cream with a little nail file, which was a pound from Home Bargains. And then also from Home Bargains, I got her this little um, unicorn snow globe lip gloss and some face glitter or body glitter. They were like 50p, 79p each. And then lastly, I got her this mini photo album which um, holds 10 photos and it holds the little Polaroid ones um, and you can kind of put it on your wall. So she can put photos in it and then just hang it up somewhere. I just thought that would be really useful. It's so, I can't believe how tiny it is. Obviously it unfolds. Um, this was from eBay. I think it was $3.99. And that is pretty much everything. I've got Violet. So that is the kids stocking fillers this year. Um, I feel like I've gone way more practical for Alistair and a bit more novelty stuff for Violet. But again, I think it shows just the age difference and what stages they're at. Violet's still very much into toys and Alistair's just getting that bit older and he's got more practical things. But yeah, I'm really happy with what I've got them. I think they're going to be so excited on Christmas morning. I'm wrapping them and um, I hope it's given you some ideas. Let me know if it has. Again, I'll leave everything linked like my previous ones in the description bar and don't forget to check out Miles's video because that will be coming after this one. Thanks so much for watching.